Hi, I'm Caroline from the Writing Development Centre and I'm here to talk to you about preparing for lectures, whatever form they take. So when you think about university study, the traditional lecture is probably one of the first things that spring to mind. But nowadays, lectures can take various forms, including for the 2020 to 21 academic year online. A traditional lecture in a lecture hall usually lasts around an hour. But online, that could be a web-based lecture, it could be a recording of a lecture, it could be split into a number of short clips, or it could be a purpose-made series of short videos with slides. In principle though, the purpose of a lecture, whatever form it takes, is always the same and it's to introduce you to a topic that's rich in information and exploration. Now there's so much to learn in your degree, more than can be covered in a lecture. However, lectures are great starting points for helping you orient yourself and identify the key areas and ideas. Lectures might involve lecturers simply presenting information to you or they might present you with opportunities to get involved, either by asking questions, taking part in short quizzes or polls, giving you opportunities to briefly discuss your ideas with your fellow students, all things to make sure that you're engaged and you're following the presentation. You'll be given copies of the lecture slides and the handouts, and you'll also be able to access the recording of the session. To get the most out of a lecture though, and to stay actively engaged, you'll want to take your own notes. So, how do you write everything down? The reassuring answer is, you don't have to. The key to getting the most out of lectures, whatever form they take, is always to be selective. Even if you could write everything down word for word perfectly, that doesn't mean you're taking it in. You need to learn actively rather than passively, rather than just letting it all wash over you and becoming the human photocopier. And that means making decisions about what to write down or what not to write down. There are two ways to approach this. Looking out for what the lecturer thinks is important and being alert to what you feel you need from the lecture. So, to help you sift the need to know from the nice to know, look out for cues and clues from the lecturer. Some of what they're telling you is key ideas and information, other things might be examples to help your understanding or further detail to flesh out your knowledge. Sometimes it's important to capture that knowledge and information other times it's important just to listen so that you can process what's going on. Look out for signals as to which is which when the lecturer is talking. Look out for overviews and summaries that help frame the key points and the purpose of the lecture. It's also useful to think about what you need from the presentation. Were the parts you weren't sure you understood fully? If so, you might want to write down your question or capture just enough details so that you can look it up and get more information later. Were there details you can imagine coming up in an assignment or an exam? That detail might be really useful to capture. There may be parts of the lecture that were already familiar to you and parts that were entirely new. You might want to make fewer notes on things that were already familiar to you, merely capturing some detail that would help jog your memory later on. And remember, lectures are only the starting point for your learning. To get the most out of them, you need to think about your follow-up. Review your notes. Look up the answers to your questions. Fill in any gaps that you had. What readings might you use to enrich and enhance your understanding? What would you still like to know?